Hi guys, this is Jenny5684. This is an overview of my installation of my 240 volt Clip Creek charger. It's used to charge my 2013 Chevrolet Volt. It's worked pretty well so far. Clipper Creek is actually a company that they've not outsourced any of their products at all. It's all made here in the USA. So the one specifically that I got is one with a plug. So this is a, um, I'll show you the plug actually. It's this type of plug here. It has the ground at the top and the two hots on the sides. And then it also has a neutral. So you don't need necessarily the neutral, but the neutral just allows it to also be able to power something at 120 volts. So if you have like a Tesla or something, the charger will actually allow you to charge at 120 volts under certain occasions. So, um, oh look, there's a rabbit. Anyway, so um, this is my meter that we installed. We picked this up for about 20 bucks on eBay. And the enclosure behind it is actually another twenty dollars so the total cost of the meter here was forty something dollars if you just go on ebay you can look up used ones now that they're changing all these out to smart meters they have to give it to the old ones so they reset it to you for back to zero and you can just hook it right in directly in line it worked perfectly then we just put a leviton outlet here it's about five bucks from uh, home depot and then this i just mounted directly to it just using some drywall screws and then as for running it out to the car, we got creative and uh, went ahead and chopped out a small piece underneath the edging of the garage door there. And so the garage door can still shut. So if we see how that wire is ran right there, the garage door can still shut without closing on the wire. So then the wire just runs out here and just plugs into the car. A lot of people who have installed these have said that installing it in the center of their garage seems to work the best since they are allowed they can charge you know both of their cars if they have two electric cars or if they only have one you know charge one outside or whatever you know it's it's a lot more versatile putting it in the center so we just ran a conduit right above there across the other side down here into our basement unfortunately our electrical box is on the opposite side of the house so it's kind of difficult for us but um we got it to work so Anyway, uh, for us, we actually ran six gauge wire. So six gauge wire allows for 55 amps. So in the future, if we have a Tesla, we can change out this charger and just literally just unplug this one and plug in the Tesla charger, and we can charge a Tesla off of that. So you know, we, we plan ahead for the future. It's the best way to do it. And as for the charger, it does a great job. And it's actually, why don't I explain to you exactly what these chargers do? They literally are a relay. So when you plug it into that car there, the car tells it that you've plugged it in, and it literally kicks on a relay that connects 240 volts down that wire to the, out, to the outlet of the car. And then your car will actually convert the power. So it just runs at 240 volts directly to your car using a relay that, you know, if water gets in there, some sort of short happens, the relay in here will automatically shut off the power. So these are basically a safety tool. It's required by the National Electric Association of America, or whatever it is, to just have. That way, you know, there's no issues. So, yep. Anyway, uh, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, feel free to comment.